Salt Lake Community College is known for its diversity of students. Incoming 18-year-old freshmen attend class on campuses with students returning from the workforce, retirees, single parents attending college for the first time, international students, disabled students, students enrolled in concurrent courses, and vocational students learning or upgrading specific technical skills. Providing access to quality education for each student demands a wide variety of individualized methods of instruction and excellent teaching skills. I think that as we grow and as we become more diverse, we have to pay closer attention to each specific population that we're dealing with. I think we're all things to all people. We provide a homey atmosphere for non-traditional students. We provide a friendly atmosphere. The service that we provide as far as student services, testing, career advising, admissions, registration, the faculty are very caring. They take an individual on a one-to-one -one basis. They can help them out. We show that we care. People are coming here. Maintaining high quality in our business, I think, is very important. And the way that I maintain that is through professional organizations, also through classes maybe in graduate school, graduate programs, those kind of things. I was just accepted into a doctoral program. Also, like I mentioned, through professional organizations, I'm highly involved with the National Orientation Directors Association. I was just appointed to serve on the board of directors for that organization. I did student teaching in junior high, realized my skills lay elsewhere, and so I chose the secondary level and started teaching at Orem High School, where I was for 10 years. Then I was at Stanford University as an administrator for five years and knew that I wanted to teach. And I find that, for the most part, students respond to high expectations. I'm a very demanding teacher, and I make no apologies for that. I do not believe in teaching for mediocrity, ever. If my writing students learn how to write and know how to write, I'm much more concerned about that practical application than if they can speak a great deal of theory but are poor writers. And by the same token with the students in the ethics class, and really with any students, if they can learn to enhance their thinking, if they can be better thinkers, if they can learn how to learn, that's the purpose of my teaching. The Salt Lake Community College sets a standard of excellence that we can all follow and it allows us the freedom to provide quality services to our students. I believe that because of the high quality that the Salt Lake Community College provides to the community, we are an institution where other faculty members, other professionals in the community would like to be a part of our family. I think the atmosphere, the uh, attitude of the staff and the faculty are uh, you can see that they're dedicated towards fostering uh, quality education. We're adult enough to realize that to survive in a changing environment, and especially in this rapidly changing aviation program, that it requires us to be on the leading edge, to be state-of-the-art in both faculty trained and our equipment. We're attuned with the industrial needs. I'm proud to be part of that. Right now the demands are extremely high because their class loads are really high. We try to keep the class loads around 15 maximum so that we can give one-on-one -on -one help to every student in the hour that they're in the class. This way every day I know what the student is capable of doing and I have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. We correct the work together. They get feedback on every lesson that they do. If they didn't get the concept when it was explained the first time or we see at the end of a couple of lessons that they haven't reached it yet, then we do a different kind of instruction. We've got computer-assisted methods in the classroom. We've got a computer lab downstairs that they can be sent to. We've got all kinds of assignments and books and workbooks. So at this point, I think it's the very best possible way for the adults to get this basic skills. I'm just a firm believer that writing is thought on paper and the goal of education is to turn out thoughtful human beings who are capable of thinking and functioning. Not only do I feel that part of my charge is to give them the academic skills necessary to succeed, but also sort of nurture them into being successful students and realizing what education is just beyond getting a grade.
really the most influential people in my life have been teachers and I'm very much the kind of person I am because of two or three teachers I can identify and if I hadn't had them I'd be a different kind of person. Actually, I can remember one of my instructors in philosophy at University of Utah saying that he loved his job because he had always liked to read and write and talk, and they actually paid him to do it. I actually feel the same way. The teaching and research and writing are complementary. They're not mutually exclusive. I've always done a fair amount of writing and publishing, and I continue to do that, and I'm a better teacher. I'm the kind of teacher I am, and I'm a better teacher because I'm engaging in research and writing. The mission of this college is teaching, and that's made very clear, that people are hired to teach, they're expected to teach, and they're rewarded for teaching. When I was working in the industry, I saw so many students that had supposedly spent 18 months to two years at another institution and I felt that there were so many things that they had not learned as well as should have been learned at the very beginning and so I felt like I could make a difference by becoming a teacher. When I went into the school I could take all that experience I had into the industry because it's real in every day of things I teach these kids. I teach them this is what is expected of you. This is what you need to accomplish to get a job. It's reality. Quality I think is in how we perceive ourselves to be also and it's an everyday effort to make sure that you present quality education it takes a lot of effort I'm awake a lot at nights worrying about how I'm going to teach a particular student I think the fact that Salt Lake Community College has increasingly paid attention to the quality of teachers that it hires has meant that I came into a group of some pretty remarkable people and we've continued to add to that group my closest colleagues, I think, are some of the finest I've ever worked with in all of education. So that's part of perceptive hiring, where the dean and the division chair could see quality people as they hired them. I think that the fact that we're growing, growth can be very chaotic and destructive even, but I think we're handling the growth well, and I think that that exposes us, helps us see a broader view, and I think that increases excellence. For students seeking instruction in basic skills, business, technology, vocational technical skills, humanities, or sciences, the faculty and support staff at Salt Lake Community College are committed to proactive, professional, and progressive delivery of an excellent standard of education to all of their students.